Hello everybody, Karen Wolf here in the art studio. I'm going to teach you how to paint a cow today. This really cool cow. And um, he's so cute, you can do this. Um, and we're just going to use a few paint colors, just a couple brushes, nothing, uh, nothing difficult. We're going to use a half inch flat and it's just like about as wide as your finger there, and an, uh, just a little tiny round. It's just little, so it's a zero, zero, zero. Uh, we got black, uh, white, and red for our paint colors, just three colors. The fewer colors you have, the easier it is. I'm gonna pull you in a little bit closer here, and it's where you can see, we're gonna paint this cute cow. Really cute, really, really fun, and you're gonna love it. So let's get that to where you can see it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in the cow shape, and then you guys are gonna um, paint him. It's gonna be really fun, super, super fun. All right, so we're gonna go here, we're gonna just mimic this over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a an oval shape for his um, nose, and then I'm going to draw a line to come down here, just right at the bottom of that mouth, and I'm just coming straight out, and then I'm going to come over here, just in from the circle a little bit, I'm going to draw a line down, this is his body, and this is his, um, where his nose and mouth is, and then we're going to do a little, kind of like a, half oval there, just go up, end on this side here, and then just come up and down. I'm gonna make some ears, come over and out, back in, over and out, back in. He has a little bit of black up here on his face. We're gonna draw his eyes in so we get those in. Is a little doot doot right there. And doesn't matter what shape this is, we're gonna come out a little bit, go in. We're gonna come out a little bit over his eye, just like that. Nothing fancy, just a little, do a little circle, little circle. And his nose has a two circles right here. And I'm not sure why I put that on there. I don't understand that, but I, I think it was just supposed to be up here. Two little smileys and mouth coming together. Then he has a tail. He has a line down to his back. Another line down, just two parallel lines. And a little squiggly, little line out squiggly. And then down here, um, well, he does have these little doodads in his ears. Um, down here, we have the little black spots on the body. So we're gonna do a little, just a little scoop. Over here, let's just do a little scoop. They don't have to be exact like mine. Do whatever you want. And then a little shape down here and one in the corner. So there you've got your, your cow drawn in. Okay, so now we're gonna take the half inch flat and we're gonna paint in the body of the cow. We're just gonna make a little bit of a gray color. We're gonna take the white, take just the tiniest bit of black. We're gonna make just a really light gray. And if you want to, you don't even have to paint in this part, you can just leave it white. I'm gonna paint the outside. I need this to be a little bit more white. It's just a little bit too gray for me. Paint around those circle shapes and then paint in the middle. Paint around the shapes. And 
and then paint in the middle. So you're just painting all around those circle shapes. Then we're going to go up to the top. We're going to paint in his uh, ears with that color. I'm adding a little bit more white. I just want it to be a really light gray. I don't want it to be... And you can paint it white if you want. But I'm painting it gray so it'll show up a little bit on my book. This is a mixed media tablet that I'm painting on. I'm using acrylic paint. And then I'm going to come up here and paint around this shape. And if you paint over it, you can do that. Just make sure that uh, you dry it really good before you go back and paint your eyes and your outside shape. You just want to make sure that's dry. And then paint the tail. Just paint that tail in. Rinse your brush. Looks really cute so far. It looks it looks good already. All right, then rinse your brush and dry it with a paper towel. Then we're gonna go in with some pink on his nose by taking just a little bit of red and mixing it with white. Didn't take very much red at all, just a little bit of red. Go around the outside edge. Just paint around the outside edge. And if you're painting with the little, little tiny ones, like, I mean, gosh, they could paint when they're like three, uh, two, Henry and Charlie, my little grandchildren, they've been painting since they were like 16 months old. But for this kind of thing, I think Charlie started painting just uh, about three. They can do this when they're three if you work with them. And then just let them paint in the center. So you draw all the outside and let them paint in the center. And then take a little bit of that pink, put it right there on the ear, and right there on the ear. Rinse that brush. And dry it with a paper towel. We're gonna to go into the black. Had the window open today down here and got little, little visitors coming in from outside. There was a fly over there. Gotta love them. Okay, so then we're gonna paint around this shape. If you need to switch to a smaller brush, you do it. And then we're gonna come up here outside edge, draw that in, and just paint in that shape. Then we're going to go down, we're going to paint in the nose. You can do this with the round, that little round brush, if you can't do it with this one. Understood. This one. Draw the outside in. And then paint in the middle. Draw the outside. And then paint in the middle. Then you can take that same little brush and do the mouth. Then we're going to go in with this half inch flat. Sorry, I did the little switcheroo on you there. I'm going to go, let's do the tail. I'm going to just flip out. I'm going to start right here. We're going to flip out with that brush and then turn the brush on its side and just flip out. I'm going to paint up the edge, paint up the edge, flip out, flip out, and then turn it on its side. Then we're going to paint in this dark down here, outline it, outline it, we're going to outline this one. Paint 
pane in the middle. It's just really putting an outline on the outside edge so that it makes it easier for you to just finish out the middle. I'm getting in some of my white there. I'm not really worried about that. If you don't like that mixing, dry it with a hairdryer. Mixed media tablets are so awesome to paint in because the paint dries pretty quick and you can move on to the next color usually without too much problem, too many, too, too much trouble. Okay, so you got all your circles there, all your colors in down here. Um, got that in. So let's rinse that brush. We're gonna switch to the little brush. I just love this painting. It is so cute. We're gonna go into a little bit of water with this black. Taking a little bit of water on my brush and getting that paint. Uh, so where if your paint's thin, you don't really have to worry about this, but mine's a little bit thick, so I'm gonna put a little bit of water in it and I'm gonna put some, roll my brush, get that thinned out. Then I'm gonna um, paint my eye. I'm gonna go around, circle. Don't push, don't push hard. Don't push hard. If you get in the middle, you can dry it with a hairdryer and then paint white inside. Then you're gonna paint this circle down here at the bottom. Just go in with the circle, paint a circle, and then a circle inside of that circle. Two little squigs on the top of the nose. And then we're gonna outline. So we're gonna go with that little brush we're going to go outline of the ear, and we're going to do a little line right there. Do a little outline of the ear, a little line right there. We're going to outline this nose. I'm not pushing very hard at all, because the harder you push, the fatter the line will be. Come down with that line and a line on each side of the tail. I think that's it. Oh, we need to put in our eyes. So our little eyes right here, just take a white, rinse your brush, dry it with a paper towel, go into the white and put a little dot right there. Pretty cool, huh? Isn't he cute? Super cute, super cute cow. You can do it. <laughs> and it doesn't matter, as you can see, mine aren't exactly alike. This one has a really uh, wide, this one has a really wide mouth and this one has like a little more uh, small. So um, paint them however you want. You don't have to do, um, try to do it exactly like me. Uh, make yours your own and it'll be fun. So thank you guys so much for painting along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my page so that you can uh, receive the notifications of the new videos. I've been putting, trying to put one new one out each week for the kids and uh, I hope that they'll join along and you can paint and help paint with them and they will have fun with that and uh, learn to paint, learn to uh, have some fun with art. So thank you all so much. Have a great day and I'll see you back on here again next time. Thank you.